we'll start this by doing uh, a land acknowledgement and uh, sharing with you a video. As we know, this is something very important, uh, very important to do throughout every meeting. So here, while people are arriving, let me just Good morning. Share, let me just share my screen. Fantastic. So this video was part of our bicentennial celebration of McGill. It's been now 200 uh, years that McGill is here, but before us, there was, uh, of course, uh, nations and communities who were there long, long before. So here it is. Just want to make sure I'm sharing my sound. Everyone enjoyed the video as much as uh, we did. And uh, again, we're going to say a little bit more about uh, the land and the communities when Jeep Zita jumps in. So I just wanted to uh, introduce um, our facilitator and uh, I'll let her introduce the main speaker today. So Zita is my incredible colleague who is, has also her podcast. She's the one who trained me from day one and I admire her so much. So uh, Zita, your turn to shine. Why, thank you. I didn't know I trained you. That's what's up. Okay, good morning, everybody. <laughs> I think Nayo trains me. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday morning. Um, thank you very much, Nayo, for helping to um, bring this all together this morning. Um, this is already the third edition of Power Skills. This year's theme is Lives Transformed, our post-pandemic era. I'd like to recognize we at CATS acknowledge that our work in Montreal takes place on the unceded Indigenous lands of the Kanakanehe and Mohawk Nation. This land is known as a gathering place for many First Nations. And at Power Skills, we are committed to use this summit as a place of gathering, connection, reconnection, to empower all voices and perspectives by providing free and, accept and accessible, excuse me, learning opportunities and connection. So I would like everybody to um, just really be in community with us today. Um, I will ask that our um, volume stay on mute um, as I send it over to today's um, speaker. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Fimo Mitchell. Not only is he um, a beacon of stillness and um, a source of replenished and rejuvenating energy. He is a wonderful human. He is somebody I um, am grateful to call a friend because he is that beacon of stillness. And sometimes you need to feel that stillness to remember that everything happens in its time. I'm going to read a little bit about FEMO and allow you to also um, welcome his energy. FEMO Mitchell is a meditation guide, a writer, and a podcast host. He began meditating in 2009 during his first trip to India. Since then, he spent thousands of hours in meditation and completed two mindfulness courses. Last summer, he founded When the Village Meditates, a nonprofit dedicating to offering meditation programs to members of racialized and marginalized communities. Earlier this month, FEMO re released his, oh, earlier in March, excuse me, he released his third book titled Pastel Remembrance. Pastel Remembrances is an offering of 16 short stories that will take readers to different places from where they stand. Every Tuesday, he hosts We Are Home, a podcast featuring 10 minutes of meditation, followed by five minutes of insightful speech. Good morning, everybody, and welcome, Fimo. Oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Zita. I, I, I don't know how to follow that, but uh, I will try. Um, I want to welcome all of you into the space that we're sharing virtually together. And I, um, 
I hope that our time together, um, I feel like I just want to create an atmosphere, an ambiance within which we all have an experience that um, is personal to us. And so um, I'd like to start with just a moment of stillness. Um, you can lie, you can sit, you can stand, whatever feels comfortable for you. And I'd just like to take a nice deep breath with you, if that's all right. So let's inhale deeply through our nose and breathe into your belly. And you can release that breath through your mouth or your nose, whatever is comfortable for you. Why don't we do that a second time? Inhale deeply. And exhale. One last time together. Deep breath in. And slowly, with control, let that breath out. I'd like you to continue this belly breathing for the next little while. Allowing your body to relax, body to settle down. Allow your mind to be here, to be now. Feel free to let go of your control over your breath and allow your body to breathe however you want to. And continue to just observe, be a witness to your natural breath. So there's no need to force anything here. There's no need to become something you already are, and that's enough. Don't try to empty your brain or to not have any thoughts. Just be a witness to your breath. And whenever you notice that your attention has gone somewhere into the future or maybe in the past, it's not a problem. It's only natural for your attention to follow these thoughts that may arise. Just take a moment to acknowledge wherever you are and gently guide your attention back to your breathing. See, can you do this without judging yourself and with lots of kindness?
there is a life force moving through you, around you. Life energy that has brought you into this moment. Maybe you begin to sense it. If you can sense this life within yourself, the life that you are, then perhaps you can sense it in others. You can sense it in nature. What if you don't merely have a life, but rather you are life? And everything that may come up, that may arise, or happenings, experiences, Can you be a witness? Can you be present with whatever may arise? Without clinging, ignoring, or trying to avoid certain experiences or happenings. Come into a place of acceptance, radical acceptance of what is of this moment, this life. I'd like to close this meditation with a positive
positive affirmation that you can repeat with your full voice or quietly to yourself. I love myself and I accept myself just as I am. I love myself and I accept myself just as I am. can remain lying or standing or seated. You can keep your eyes closed or open. Um, feel free to listen to your, your inner wisdom to be guided, to allow yourself to be guided um, by that voice within you. This um, thing about meditation uh, the thing about meditation for me is um, it's a way to look, it's a way of being, it's a way of experiencing. And so I like to start the morning, my mornings with that, with meditation. Um, because I know if I can spend time with myself going inward and, you know, lean into those, sometimes I might have heard something that might have triggered something. And triggers are wonderful in the sense that they don't always feel good, right? But they're wonderful in the sense that it lets me know that there's some healing that needs to happen somewhere in me. There's still some work to be done. And, um, and so in the morning, every morning is fresh, right? And you sit there, you sit, I sit here and all right, what's here today? What is coming up today? And every day is going to be something that comes up. Something. And all of it might not be pleasant. Some of it might feel quite uncomfortable, might be unpleasant. But can we acknowledge it? Can we, can we sit with that? I mean, we're here in Canada. We heard the land acknowledgments. We're on unceded territory. Let that sink in for a moment. Territory that was stolen, right? Yet here we are. And so we have to be able to hold the fact that we're on land that was stolen, where atrocities took place. And here we are, also, we were, we're trying to thrive on this land trying to benefit from certain things. We, it's not comfortable to have that thought. It's not comfortable, but that's the truth. And, you know, at times the truth may feel like a bully, right? <laughs> you know, we, we, we all say we want the truth, but it doesn't feel great sometimes. And meditation to me is a, is a form of sitting with truth sitting with the nature of your, who you are, that discomfort, the unease, discomfort mentally, physically sometimes, pain, and saying, I'm not gonna just cling to those, because there's moments in meditation where it feels great and you're like, ah, so blissful. I'm not gonna like chase and cling, that, cling to that. I'm not gonna ignore the stuff that I, I think is just the mundane. And I'm not gonna avoid 
or have aversion to the stuff that doesn't feel good, that's, that's uncomfortable. I'm not gonna do that either. I'm going to be balanced and I'm gonna be a witness and I'm gonna be with whatever comes up, whatever comes up and be with that. And I'm still gonna love myself through it all. I'm gonna love and accept myself just as I am in this moment, not five years from now, when we, our mind tells us we'll have our whole life together and I'll be good once I do this. No, no, in all, right now in this moment, faults and all, you know, love yourself in this moment and accept yourself fully. And so meditation for me is, is a journey inward um, where I'm not judging myself. And if I do judge myself because my mind is going a million different places, right? I'm like, okay, this is me judging myself. And immediately I come back to self-love. I love myself and I accept myself just as I am, immediately. And if I'm able to do that for myself, it makes it a bit easier when I open my eyes and I go out into the world with other people. It's a little bit easier to do the same, to not be judgmental, to be patient truly love, to be kind. And so um, I invite all of you, I wish I could see your faces, but, <laughs> but I invite all of you to, um, to really look at meditation, not so much just, a lot of times meditation is seen just as a mental exercise to still the mind and to be more focused. And it, you will be more focused. And oftentimes, it's almost seen like a productivity tool. And I would say that meditation is, um, helps with liberation, our liberation from a wild, wild mind that <laughs> leads us down some really twisted, dark roads that we don't want to go down. And so um, I invite all of you to continue on this journey along this journey of meditation with me. And I know we only have um, a few minutes left, but I'd like to end with a moment with some stillness. But if someone has a question, I would be remiss if I didn't leave space for that. So if you do have a question, feel free and uh, I'll try to answer. So far, female, there are no questions in the chat, just to update you. Okay. Well, I'll continue then. Please, thank um, you. <laughs> so, um, When the Village Meditates, which is my, uh, my nonprofit, um, there's a community that I grow with, that I meditate with in the mornings at 545. And um, it's beautiful to start the day with that. I have, one of my uncles, he's like 72, he's in Toronto. He joins every morning. Um, well, it's Monday through Friday. And um, he often, he says it over and over again, not just because he's older, but <laughs> I think it just really hits him. He goes, it's just a beautiful way to start the day, you know, with stillness and the affirmation. And um, for him, it just helps him carry, it just sets the tone for his day. And so I hope that all of this sets the tone for your day. You know, um, I really do hope so. So if, we, if it's okay with all of you, if we can end with some stillness, um, that would be great. I think I saw a question real quick. I don't have my glasses on. So if someone can read the question out, out to me, I'll try to deal with it right away. Sure. It says, um, what are some of the best ways to quiet the mind when you're just learning how to meditate? Uh, you can, hey, Phil, <laughs> I see Phil there. Um, you can, there's many techniques. You can, you can count, um, like what you you can start from like 21 and work your way down. And, um, that works. Um, you can chant. You, if you have beads, you know, counting the beads, that helps as well. Uh, you can repeat a mantra over and over again. 
Um, there's different ways, but I would say this, and I get this question a lot. Don't worry so much about the mind that's all over the place, that's jumping around. Like, don't worry about it. The only reason we have a problem with that is because we're so closely identified to our to the mind. But if there was some distance there, you'd be able to sit, the mind is doing some stuff, jumping around, and you're okay. You're, you're okay. I see it jumping around, and you just bring it back. And you do it with kindness and, and, and compassion. So I, I, I would say you can do those things, but ultimately, you, when it jumps around, and you're able to bring it back with compassion, with, without judging yourself, you're doing so much great work in doing that. Don't worry about the, the fact that the mind is jumping around. After some time, it will get tired. After some time. <laughs> um, we have two minutes, right? Two minutes of stillness. So um, I'd like to just close with, just once again, coming back to our breath. And we can do this throughout the day. Throughout your day, come home to yourself. Every time you take a deep breath in and you know that you're breathing in and you take a breath out and you know that you're breathing out, you're coming back to yourself. You're coming home to that place of peace, of joy. And feel free to do this throughout your day. Just keep breathing in and out. Breathing in relaxation and calm. And breathe out the stress, worries, the anxiety. Thank you, Fimo. Thank you all for joining. Um, thank you, Fimo, for helping set a wonderful intention for self-love, for some tools to begin a process of stillness and clarity. And for all of you power skillers, we wish you um, a great set of sessions. We have two more days to go. This has just set us up for success for day number three. There are amazing sessions to follow. If you haven't, please feel free to check out um, our website for power skills. I'm putting it in the chat now. Thank you, Nayo, for helping to facilitate. And most importantly, thank you, Fimo, for bringing your energy and for uh, setting us up in such a beautiful way this morning. Thank you all. Your, your comments in the chat are beautiful. Um, Fimo, thank you for sharing your knowledge and wisdom. Thank you, Fimo. Um, thank you for such a lovely way to start. Thank you so much. Wishing you all a great weekend. And to you, um, this felt great. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I needed this so, this morning. Um, it's just been beautiful. So thank you very much, Fimo. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs> Cheers. All right. Bye.